Hi, it's John for Popeye's Postcards. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name's John. I sell postcards uh, on eBay and some other platforms. Used to have a pretty popular YouTube channel a couple years ago and I uh, had a couple hundred postcard videos and a couple thousand subscribers. Ran into some issues with an idiot. If you want to hear me cry and whine about that, I, there is a video about why I nuked my old channel. So I'm starting over again doing a reboot. I went to a postcard club meeting uh, last night. <clears throat> Bought 77 postcards. I spent uh, $120 for these cards. So the cost average is $1.55. Um, there are some 50, cards I bought for 50 cents, some cards I bought for uh, 8 or $9. And I sold $110 worth of items, postcards and some sleeves, stuff like that. So I guess technically this really only cost me um, 10 bucks. So uh, before I get started, I want to give you all a tip from your Uncle Popeye. If you handle thousands and thousands of cards like I do I used to have a really bad problem licking my thumb to moisten it to flip through the paper because I've looked I think I've looked through so much stuff that uh, my thumbs are pretty much smooth um, there's like no traction on those so I ended up using this quick sort or sort quick stuff just a little pink uh, moistening stuff It'll, you know, one little dab will do you and it'll, it'll keep your fingers, uh, give some tack and you don't have to lick a thousand or uh, lick a hundred years worth of grime off uh, your fingers that was on these postcards. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go to the little screen and I'll put these postcards on the big screen and show you what I bought and talk about them. Okay, this first card is from Welch, West Virginia. It's a Grace Hospital. I always pick up small town West Virginia uh, really any West Virginia cards I've sold this one before if I remember correctly and that could be you know completely wrong but last night I didn't I didn't have all my sales in front of me I didn't have really good access to the internet so I'm going off my years of experience and what I kind of remember from what I sold so this was 50 cents I'm thinking it might be a 10 to 15 dollar postcard and there's the back Oh, we're just anyway this was um, there was a Columbia South Carolina let me go back uh, like I said I'm a little rusty from from doing this from years ago so anyway uh, Columbia South Carolina uh, 1940s uh, linen view you got Woolworths here to look at um, you got coca-cola sign drugstore um, 50 cents probably should be able to turn that into maybe 10 bucks there's the back. Uh, Disneyland. Anytime I find Disneyland uh, for less than a buck, I pick it up. Uh, this will be a four or five dollar postcard. This is Wissahickon Creek uh, in Philadelphia. It's a real photo, and um, I always pick up uh, real photos. And this one is Lutz, L-U-T-Z, 1944. Someone tried to sell it for three dollars. I got it for fifty cents. Probably gets uh, five to eight bucks. Dingman's Ferry, Pennsylvania. I've always done well with Dingman's Ferry. I don't remember or I don't know exactly what this card is going to go for, uh, but I just know that Dingman's Ferry always sells well for me. And for fifty cents, I picked it up, uh, even with the damage. Alexandria. Louisiana, another one of those towns from my memory bank that has done well for me. This is a bird's eye or an airplane view of the city. Uh, Frederick, Maryland, Jung Bridge, or Jug Bridge. Um, I'll put this one in my antique mall, uh, probably for two or three dollars. See this line right here? Um, that's a scanner plate. Uh, hopefully it's just some dirt but I could have already scratched my scanner plate so make sure you clean your scanner plates or do not send cards with um, glitter or mica through your scanner uh, San Juan Puerto Rico I've been doing pretty good with uh, Puerto Rico cards and for 50 cents give it a shot 
there's the back and this is um, uh, I guess Dominican Republic maybe I'm not 100% sure now the uh, re maybe Republic of Dominic I don't know anyway it's a it's a hospital and what caught my eye were the, the stamps and I can't really read that Republic yeah the Dominican Republic so I really don't sell many um, Dominican Republic cards but for 50 cents give it a shot uh, old uh, 19-teens Gettysburg Battlefield sell uh, quite well um, don't usually see this uh, particular monument so I picked that one up uh, 50 cents probably anywhere between between 8 to maybe 15 dollars same thing with this uh, monument I think this one's a little bit more um, uh, common and also uh, General Hancock monument this is a coal mine in um, Pennsylvania always pick up coal mine stuff especially for 50 cents probably a 10 to 15 dollar postcard quite possibly uh, this is a Christmas card thought it was kind of neat it's embossed and it has gold gilt doesn't come up on a scan very well um, probably a probably six or seven dollar postcard and here's uh, a kid and a St. Bernard and uh, I think you know it's just a pretty it doesn't it looks so much better in person than on this scan um, so people uh, buy this because of St. Bernard see these little white specks on here these are uh, there was a, uh, a card that this is that white stuff is the back of another card um, so that'll if you're very careful wet your finger um, a little dab of water and that usually that paper will just rub uh, right off and it won't uh, damage the card so these next ones are of um, this is the interior of Lee Chapel down at Washington and Lee College um, or university whichever it is now I think they're changing the name of this um, to uh, take uh, Lee off of things associated with the college um, someone will uh, buy this this is a hand colored Albert type and another one of uh, General Lee again these are all 50 cents and probably sell for upwards of ten dollars maybe a little bit more there's General Lee. They've, this is him, uh, his grave, pretty much inside the chapel. I believe they've walled this off, so you don't see him anymore. And here's a real photo of uh, the interior of the church, Confederate monument, um, probably eight, nine, ten dollars. Uh, that no longer exists, as it should not. Uh, one of uh, General Lee on Traveler. 50 cents I've sold this one for um, nine ten dollars before uh, this is um, Wrightsville Beach North Carolina fishing charter um, so I just bought it basically because of the name Wrightsville Beach I think I've done uh, fairly well and again I'm going off of I had to go through these cards quickly at the show at the meeting uh, and I just have to rely on memory uh, fishing sells Wrightsville Beach in North Carolina sells so those uh, had that going for it uh, this is a football field in Mississippi um, I think that is actual damage to the card and not something stuck to the card so again 50 cents I'll take a chance on an old 19 probably 20s 30s actually 36 36 Anyway, uh, a nice um, old card. Uh, I think it says 50s, but this card is much earlier than 1950s. Now, these next cards are from Mountain Lake Park in Maryland. Uh, real quick history. Mountain Lake Park in Maryland, back uh, 1900s to 19-teens, was where the first Jehovah Witnesses uh, held their first like Bible meeting, Bible conferences. And some of the cards from Mountain Lake Park 
it'll be on the back there'll be some lines you know say from the 19 i think 11 something like that bible conference that is where the jehovah's witnesses got their start um those cards will sell 40 50 bucks or higher these ones don't have that um it's not noted on there that it's uh from the Bible conference, but these, they're, the handwriting on these does talk about uh, going to Bible uh, study or Bible class. So these were all 50 cents each. So again, uh, 50 cents each. Let me click through all of these. There's Falls, there's the Willows. Uh, so you can see 1906 on there. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what these go. They may only be five, six dollar cards. I'll probably put them at auction and see if the Jehovah Witness is who buy these type of cards. And they'll go, they'll go around the world. Uh, the sales I've had before are international. So we'll have to see how well those do. So, so just some more. Now this card, um, I'll explain real quick. The guy I bought these cards from, he's a back of the card guy and he told me he bought a collection like a, it was like a mail order auction during covid and um i don't know what he paid for the whole lot but he's he was interested in the the cancellations the postmarks on the back and he bought this uh whatever county it was in california for the postmarks and he said there were a whole bunch of real photos so I bought this one. This is uh, Livermore, California, First Street, uh, probably 19 teens, probably 1909, something like that. Uh, similar cards from this town have sold in the past for upwards of $300. I don't know if I'll get that, but I'm I'm going to probably shoot for 100 to 150 uh, on this card. It does have some condition issues. But um, I paid $8 for that, and I think I will definitely make my money back on that, plus some. There's the back. Uh, same thing, uh, this is Irvington, California. Old Street View, got, got the chickens running across the, the dirt road there, dirt street. Um, this could be up to a $100 card. i got to do more research on that paid six dollars or really cost average a buck fifty five now this card when i saw it i paid i think this was in paid two bucks for this card um i saw female wing state hospital for insane and right there keyword is hospital for the insane they almost always do extremely well um this one i think last sold for only six dollars but even though i paid two dollars for it uh, when you're out sourcing in the wild and you come across a state hospital for the insane, actually criminally insane are the ones that uh, sell for the, the most money. Don't be afraid to spend a couple bucks. Um, like this one, I'll only make probably four or five bucks on it, but you got to go with your gut, got to go with your knowledge. And that's the reason I bought that. Uh, same thing with this. Uh, this is Botany Class, uh, State Normal School, Farmville, Virginia. I've sold Farmville, Virginia cards before for very good money, so that's why I picked up this card. Um, I don't know what that'll bring. I have not done the research. Uh, this is a real photo from uh, is it Delano, California, 19, probably 40 Street View. Got the bill billiards pool hall here. Um, if you can find a, um, a real photo for a buck or less, uh, this one actually cost me four. Um, you got to pick it up, especially this one. I don't, I don't know what this will sell for, but it probably be a good, good sale. Also, same thing here. Um, riders on Easton's Ranch, Wolf, Wyoming. I've never heard of this place. Uh, it was from 1927. It was only three dollars. A um, little bit of research, I think this could be a $50, $60 card. Uh, I think it's Till, Tillman, Maryland. Um, again, it's just one of those places I've never heard of in Maryland. And I think my research uh, showed this could also be a $40, $50 card. I didn't, didn't know that when I bought it, 
Um, I figured for three dollars, uh, even in this condition, I think I was going to do fairly well with it. Uh, this is Circle, uh, I'm sorry, the Circle Restaurant. It's home of Chicken in the Rough. It's a linen restaurant, and I paid $2 for it. I will always pick up linen restaurants uh, when they're under, when they're about, you know, two bucks or so. So here is a uh, Thanksgiving. Again, this, this gray brownish line is not on the card. But you can see right here, uh, artist signed Ellen Clap Saddle. I've never seen this card before. Um, Thanksgiving old lady with a is that a goose? Um, usually don't see a goose for Thanksgiving, so I thought that was interesting. And this is uh, you can barely see it, but under the writing here is Wolf Publishing. So Ellen Clap Saddle did publishing or did art for both Wolf. Uh, company and for international arts uh, here's a nice Santa it looks much better in person gold gilt embossed uh, three dollars that'll probably be a ten to fifteen dollar card now these next cards were in the teaser if you're not familiar with I think everybody should be but the uh, uh, suffragette uh, movement when women were fighting for the right to vote you know they put out postcards for that and I've never first it's it's rare to come across a suffragette uh, postcard um, they and they will sell for uh, decent money not decent money they'll sell for great money um, I paid up for this card I paid seven bucks I paid seven dollars for this card uh, it's airbrushed it's thick embossed so it's really heavy embossed uh, letters there's a felt pennant on here. Uh, Sydney, I guess NS would be Nova Scotia, so I guess Canadian. Um, and the back, there's a whole bunch of writing. I've not taken the time yet to, to decipher this handwriting. Uh, it's all over the place. Maybe it's different people. I don't know. Got to look into it a little bit more. But $7, I think this card will sell for $60 to $70. And then... I guess the other card didn't scan. Okay, the uh, let me hold on here. So at the time of the suffragette movement and then producing postcards, they also came out with anti-suffragette. And they always showed the man in the relationship, a home alone, taking care of the kids, all pissed off that his wife is out marching to vote. Um, so there was a movement against women voting, and of course the, the movement to let women vote one out so this card right here uh, I think the most recent one sold for uh, $57 so those two cards will pay for everything uh, that I bought okay this next card you got Uncle Sam kissing Lady, Lady Liberty's hand uh, 4th of July I've sold this card before I believe I got 15 plus dollars for it so pick up anytime you see Uncle Sam pick it up uh, Fourth of July is a little soft anymore, but I think that one is a ten to fifteen dollar card. I thought this was interesting. Not technically a postcard, I guess it could be. It's about the same size, but I thought this was interesting as a Christmas greeting from 1908, and this is a real photo inset um, for this lady. I haven't looked her up yet. I have no idea who she is or where she's from, but I imagine back in 1908, it was probably not cheap to have your real photo stuck to a Christmas greeting that was printed for you. So maybe this lady is a, a person of wealth. Uh, not sure, but for $3, I decided to pick it up. And we'll put that at auction and see how it goes. Uh, here's another Mountain Lake uh, Park. And this writing on the front, it, it uh, will probably help sell the card. Uh, don't worry too much about it, about writing on the front unless the the image was completely obliterated with writing. I wouldn't worry too much about writing on the front. Uh, Two dollars for that card. Uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, a Confederate soldier uh, statue. Um, I, I always pick up Confederate monuments. Um, people will uh, definitely buy them. Three dollars, and he put the the guy I bought this off of Larry. 
uh, you know, he, in the news. So he's helping to sell the, the card. Uh, this is Tybee Island. It's a hotel on Tybee Island. I've sold Tybee Island, Georgia cards before. A little rough condition, but this could be a, you know, could be a $10 to $20 postcard. Paid two bucks for it. Uh, nice Art Nouveau uh, Valentine's card. And the reason I bought it was because of the Art Nouveau look to it. Um, probably another $10 to $20 postcard. Paid $3. This is an embossed uh, Santa. Usually when I find these, there's no coloring. This has been airbrushed. A uh, very nice job. Um, and I I don't usually come across these cards airbrushed. It's usually just one color uh, embossed. So that's why I picked this one up. Uh, 10 to ten to $15 probably. Paid three. And the reason I picked this one up, uh, you know, beautiful woman. It's uh, a pretty lady, whatever you correct terminology is for this topic. Uh, it's Valentine's Day. And uh, it's artist signed. Um, I couldn't quite figure out who the artist was. So um, thank God I bought a book that has all the artist signatures in it. And this is uh, Karen, or I'm sorry, Catherine Elliott. And this would probably be a, a $10 to $15 card. Uh, this one, uh, With Love's Greeting. So another Valentine's card. This one is a little easier to look up. It has the tuck. Uh, da uh, tuck information on the on the back. I was able to while I was at the club meeting uh, go to the tuck database and uh, find out that this is about a fifteen uh, dollar card. And here we have a Santa. I may put this in a mat or sell it as is. It's kind of a purplish plum color robe, and I would uh, note that in description if I sold it. It's a winch back, although I'm not sure it's a, a winch, and I paid three dollars for it. Uh, next we got some puppies. Uh, puppies always sell. Uh, cute puppies always sell. And for two dollars, that's a no-brainer. This is a Girl Scout um, postcard put out by the po uh, Girl Scouts. You can see the GS stamp here. Uh, these are, again, uh, probably $10 to $15. There's a whole niche of uh, Girl Scout. Uh, it's a crossover collectible. So a whole bunch of people out there want Girl Scout postcards. Thanksgiving Day. Uh, this is a Francis Brundage. And um, I always sell Francis Brundage. Uh, her Halloween stuff is, uh, you can get lots of money for the Halloween. Her other holidays, um, probably in the, 10 to 15 dollar range um this one i thought was kind of neat uh, anthropomorphic uh a pitcher and it's a wild pitcher so it has it's baseball themed it's it's a, a pitcher with a face um you don't see that i've never seen this card just thought it was interesting uh probably 10 to 15 dollars paid two dollars uh, that may go for more not 100 percent sure um, <clears throat> this one I picked up just this face kind of looks like a uh, clap saddle. It's not artist signed anywhere, but uh, kind of risque for the time. Woman with her bare shoulder showing. Um, so just a, a nice card, and I'm sorry about that, that line there. Uh, what I pay for this two bucks for that card, uh, probably up to a ten dollar card. This is a it's a hand-drawn card, and it's a postal card, and they call these... Cache. What do they call them? Cache. Yes, a cache. This is a postal cache. This is all hand-drawn. Um, really neat. I've sold some of these. In fact, I just sold one that will be in the... Uh, just was just in the, the What's Hold video uh, for 20 I will probably put a uh, starting price at $29, maybe $34 on this. Here you can see the... Um, the postal card from 1920 paid six dollars for it thought this one is, is interesting uh, anthropomorphic eggs chasing the chicken scrambled eggs uh, kind of humorous uh, and for two dollars I think I'll, that'll probably be a 14 15 dollar card it's a real photo of an actress miss uh, Billy Burke uh, famous actress 
it looks better in person than what this card is showing on the screen and I paid two dollars for that and a Halloween card for five dollars um, probably this would probably be a forty dollar thirty to forty dollar card uh, 1920s paid five dollars for it and this is the um, SS Grandview Point Ship Hotel on the Lincoln Highway doesn't say Lincoln Highway on here anywhere uh, but I know Lincoln Highway uh, the market has cooled down on these this used to be a 10 to 15 dollar card probably a 7 to 10 dollar card now this is uh, Alexandra Bay it's a greetings but this is a felt uh, applied or applique uh, pennant uh, for two dollars uh, probably get 10 to 15 dollars maybe a little bit more Elkins West Virginia um, motel again small town West Virginia uh, linen I will buy it for two dollars probably again ten to fifteen dollar card uh, Laurel Delaware I just bought this for the name Laurel Delaware uh, is usually one of those towns that does uh, well and can some if you got the right card it can pretty much write your own check for that uh, two dollars I'll take a chance same thing with this one Greentown PA uh, Newfoundland or Newfoundland uh, creamery um, not done any research on this so I, I have no idea if I without any research I could just probably put this at auction for $24.99 or buy it now for maybe 40 50 bucks uh, may get it may not so I picked this one up Girl Scout camp uh, usually don't see these in this um, circa 1920s I think it's a say 1940s but I think this is a 1930 I, it, it is I can tell by the the code down here it's 20s 30s it's it's uh, a slick card it's not a real linen um, Girl Scout Girl Scout Scout Girl Scout stuff I would probably start this at auction 25 bucks without doing research this is just my gut telling me what why to pick this up um, and for two three bucks I don't think you really you're not gonna lose money uh, resort at Thorn Apple I don't know where Thorn Apple is I think it might be in Michigan but uh, it's a real photo interesting subject um, and for three dollars has the name of the photographer on here 1910 you know I'll take a chance this is, is it Mugalon Mugalin Mugalin, New Mexico. Looks like an old mining town. This might be a ghost town. Um, I paid three dollars. My quick uh, research. I think that's a forty or fifty dollar card. Uh, the Aqua Arena, San Marcos, Texas. Um, I've done pretty well with these cards. That's about a ten dollar postcard. Uh, paid two dollars. This is. A volcano of Kilauea, Hawaiian Islands, obviously pre-statehood, and keep an eye out for the Island Curio Company. Some of these cards can sell for hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This I'm thinking is probably more like a twenty dollar card. This is a real photo of Ketchikan. I think it's Ketchikan. Kind of hard to read the the writing. Nineteen uh, thirties Street View. Uh, sold this card before, and it's probably a fifteen to twenty dollar card. Man, paid three dollars for it. This one I got to clean up a little bit. See if that's paint or what. But it's Death Valley. Um, I always pick up Death Valley cards. Some of them, uh, some Death Valley cards can go for into the hundreds. So I'm, this one, condition-wise, not there. But probably again, to you know, ten to twenty dollar card, and I paid two dollars for it. Here's another. Um, felt banner card from Thornton I'm not sure where Thornton is let's see if the back Thornton is from Washington so who knows that could be it could be up to a $50 card if Thornton is small enough and someone wants it so this is a cyanotype it's a real photo it's a sign that the blue real photos called a cyanotype and um, I always pick them up because they're uh, uncommon. I won't say they're rare, um, but they're uncommon. Cha-ching. Uh, and I think this was in the 50 cent 
box. And I'll have to do some more research exactly where it is. There are some clues. Um, but, you know, probably 10 to $15 card. Another Ellen Clapp saddle. I don't think this one is signed. Um, I don't see it, but I, I just know it's a Clapp saddle. Um, it is a Wolf Publishing. So that was 50 cents, so I knew to pick that one up. Uh, just two more here. Hopefully keep this under half an hour. Uh, this is Sneak Box Racing on Barnicut Bay. Uh, Barnicut Bay is in New Jersey. Uh, this is 50 cents. Um, I think I've sold this before, and I think it's a 20 some odd dollar card. And we looked at that one already. And the last one is a real photo of this is the Manila, Philippines. Uh, I think it's the Pasic River. Uh, I always do extremely well with uh, cards from the Philippines, especially uh, real photos. Uh, so this is right after World War One, so 1918 card. So there you have it. So uh, that's everything I picked up at the postcard uh, club meeting. If I've been saying postcard show, I meant club meeting. Uh, it's nice because there's only, you know, there's three or four dealers bringing cards. Uh, the one guy I bought all these cards from, he's the only guy I looked whose cards I looked at. He doesn't do shows. Uh, he just brings his cards to the club meetings. So get yourself to a club meeting, get yourself to a postcard show. Links are in the bottom. Um, leave, leave me a comment if you like this video. If you like seeing my face again, i uh, like to hear that. Check out the other channels that do postcards. As always, thank you for watching.